day two in this beautiful weather. Uh, yeah, back to this again today. Uh, gonna try and do clutch lines, maybe brake lines, I think. A lot of the stuff's maybe been, or some of it at least has been cut off. I'll show you. So yeah, brake lines, I think some have been cut, some have not. Like, uh, let's have a look, see. Yes, that'll focus. Some stuff's been cut, some's not. Either way, I need to try and figure out exactly how this goes up and then I can order new bits. But it's just gonna be a case of sort of hook it up and try because I didn't take quite enough pictures. I so far have put on the start of this one, which I think a line runs from there to the clutch. This one runs down. Um, but yeah, I'm just hooking stuff up as I see fit. Next is I need to get the little um, metal bit that plugs on here. It's like a little metal bit clip that clips over here. We've got a few of them in boxes, something like this. So yeah, I'm just finding the right one. Pretty sure that this is the right one. It's a bit rusty, so I'm just going to clean it up so it doesn't look too terrible. All right. That's that in, looks okay enough. Now I'm gonna find, I'm pretty sure it goes from here into here, so I'm gonna find that one. Turns out, turns out this was not clutch, this is brake. So now I'm just slowly tightening these up. And then I'll grab the next brake line and figure out where it goes. Slow progress. It is uh, certainly not, certainly not, a nice day here today. Nothing but mist. But yeah, I uh, think I've got the bit of the fuel line that I needed found. I gave up on doing brakes for a minute or two because there's a lot more brake lines than fuel lines. So I decided to start doing fuel lines instead. But I'll show you what I have done so far. So I've been reading my manual. And after doing the pump yesterday, got that to the filter, I've just installed this line just now. And I'm pretty sure this leads to down here, where I've connected this up here. And it very much looks like this will connect here. So I just need to find these bolts. And then assuming that line then runs to the uh, fuel tank. So at least I can get that set up. One should probably spray inside here as well, eh? But yeah, fun. Right, that's that in. Now I just need to find the one that connects and goes further back. There's something at least. Right, I'll give you a quick update on what Kyle's doing. He bought this off my dad, runs, needed brakes, uh, and random stuff. It had just been painted, so it needs seals and stuff. He is currently changing where the seals up the top needs to change them on the bottom as well but yeah this thing is huge but like you said it is mechanically good runs big uh, rover v8 we started it the other day and it was uh quite loud but uh yeah that's that right back to doing this fuel line uh I'm pretty sure it's not that bad. I just need to find bolts for these to go in the chassis. And I'll probably take off these um, Thai Jubilee clips. I'll cut all these off and just, I've got new ones, so. I need to think that they're just like, yeah, that's fine for a fuel line, no issue. All right, I think I've got everything else rooted. And that goes up and over under the prop. And then out the other side, I just need to find the rest of these little boat guys and line them up. But apart from that, once the bed comes, the fuel tank over there can go in and then technically the fuel system is good to go. Right, uh, fuel's in. I now need to rub this exhaust down. It does have a pretty bad fix here, but I'm just gonna rub it down for the time being, put it together for this fun thing and yeah pretend i'm doing something fun and not this
There we go, slightly better. Uh, I need to get a little sleeve because we have to cut it to get the back box off. Should probably uh, do the same to this little back box. Doesn't look like it's broken or anything. Could maybe just do this as well and paint that black. I found some high temp silver paint, so I'm just going to paint the exhaust. Rub this down and paint that as well, so at least it looks a bit better. Dad found some wiring to extend the battery. What's the wire from? Some old track thing or something. Probably a bit thicker than it needs to be, but it means we don't have to go to the shops. It means we can just use what's here. That's how these trucks were built. Just whatever's hanging about, that'll do. So yeah, I'm going to prime this, then rub this down, and then paint them both. So, quick little coat of high temp primer, and then I'll just do a quick coat of silver. It'll probably look shit, but it'll look better than rough. Kyle is sorting through parts with his bins. Kyle's in a slightly worse position than me because I organised all this, whereas my dad organised this, so Kyle doesn't know where anything is. So it's uh, fun and bad even fire. So yeah, I'll let this dry for a couple of minutes and then just put silver over it and see how we do. And then I can fit the exhaust on. Right, while I was waiting on that stuff drying, I have found all my clips to get the fuel line so it runs over, under, connected all up here. Uh, same here, all the way to here, and there's only holes, and then once the bed is here, uh, the tank fits on the underneath of the bed, and then that's it. So fuel technically is done. Uh, so yeah, on to, i paint these now. Oh, that looks slightly better, better than putting on some rust anyway. How long that'll last? Who knows? Yeah, uh... I can actually just probably slip the exhaust on now. Obviously it's been cut here, but I can just get like a sleeve either side, it won't be that bad. Like this is full of holes anyway, like this looks completely homemade. The entire thing does, so it's gonna be blowing no matter what. So still great weather here, as you can hear. Too civic. The next day. Okay, here again. Today is the day that Chris will be bringing the bed for this, I hope. Uh, this morning, I actually just need to tidy up a bunch of stuff because I'll be going home afterwards, so the garage is a little bit messier than when I started. I might try and put the exhaust on quickly. I say quickly, nothing is quick when it comes to doing cars, so yeah, tidy up, put the exhaust on. And yeah, maybe find some other little easier jobs to do as well, but yeah, let's go. Today, we're on our way up to pick up the, tr the trunk, the, the bed of a Datsun because Cammy's too bloody lazy to get it himself. Slave labour, we've got Cammy White here. Even cheaper slave labour than this boy. So um, we're just away to uh, Trenent. Cut, cut price timber, Trenent, give him a shout out. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna make some vlogging video updates on the way up there and we'll head down to Moffat afterwards. Flat out in the X5, you know? Obviously, you're just me about. We interrupt this program with a breaking news story. You know, the windmills, they only turn when it's windy. And they'll turn them on when it's not windy. <laughs> 
and I'm spooling up. Alright, if it's not windy enough, they'll just turn them on themselves. It's a bit of a con, but... So that's us, just uh, in Tranenta now. Just picked it up. Got it strapped on the trailer. Ready to head to, to Moffat. Cami should be excited to see us. Lovely little bit of views out here, isn't it? Lovely uh, slisky tomatic. Slippery topic and uh, porch. Check them out. Check them out. And then we've got, uh, as always, never really introduced a, a faithful companion hey. as ever. Hey, sit, sit. Who's this? Hey. Not interested. That's very not interested. interested in the camera, babe. Hey, not all of us are, Chris. But yeah, so we'll update you as the uh, journey unfolds, I guess. Let's go. So how, how, I was, how are you getting on finding the bricks? I can let my foot off. No brick. found no found no bricks. There's one right there. Where? That one right that there. Go pick up then. You pick it up. Yeah, look, look, pick that. Pick it up. Pick. I, I could pick that up. Go then. I'll hold the thing. Oh, is it a strong man? You know when you roll it on your under your chest and lift it up. Chuck it under the car. <laughs> you're not in charge, you're, you're filming the Oh no, I don't want to film anything. I can't <laughs> film things. Evening, morning. Oh, I've got that hoodie. Here you go, Chris. You didn't wear it though. I don't want it. It's your channel, is it not? No, it's uh, Cammy's channel. Oh, is this for Cam yeah. Cammy's So we're going to do some video work with some him. All right, here. We'll get some of the dog as well. Come on. For your video earlier. Ah, so explain, talk as yeah. we go. I can't wait to see it. No, you're on video now, so do some <laughs> talk us through. Are you excited to see this? Or? Yeah, that's cool. I finished that. Uh, finished everything up. Yesterday, so I'm driving this home today. Definitely not. I'm excited to see this home, for sure. Yeah, it's been a long time. 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 Yeah, it's been a long time.
But yes, here we are. Over the moon, looks so good actually having it one color. You can fully see it finally. Once this is six inches lower to the ground with a lip kit, it's gonna look class. And obviously it would need to run as well, but yeah, done a great job. All uh, bed linered in here. I uh, put all the lights on quickly as well. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. Turned out really good. I still will need to get these painted. That's a smaller job at some point. But yeah, pretty happy seeing this all like this. Obviously before this little clip, I'll have inserted Chris and Crode's video of collecting it, but yeah. Chuffed, looks good, that'll be me for today. Time to head home and fix my other car. So that's us. Big thank you to Chris, Crode, Galabanola for helping with transporting all this, getting up the hill. But um, yeah, Chris, you're a legend. Crode for doing the video as well. Big help. That's what friends are for. Happiness, thank you. Oh, I want to go home, please. <laughs>